What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here. Today I'll be doing my review of The Last of Us Factions mode and how it holds up in 2023. The Last of Us is a seminal video game that has been captivating players since its initial release in 2013. The single player experience is a tour de force in storytelling, character development, and visual design. Players take the role of Joel, a hardened survivor in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by a dangerous fungus that has turned most of humanity into zombies or zombie-like creatures. He is tasked with escorting Ellie, a young girl with a mysterious connection to the outbreak across the country to find their resistance group known as the Fireflies. The relationship between Joel and Ellie is at the heart of the story and players are taken on an emotional journey as they navigate a world filled with danger, loss, and hope. The Last of Us did receive a remastered version on the PS4, which featured improved graphics, sound design, and added content that enhanced the player's experience. More recently, the game was released as a PS5 remake, which further highlights its timeless appeal and solidifies its status as one of the greatest video games of all time. The game's characters, including Joel and Ellie, are beloved by fans for their depth, complexity, and emotional impact, and have left a lasting impression on players long after they completed the game. I even named my daughter Ellie. On top of the original single player game, The Last of Us Factions mode was added, and it's a multiplayer experience that is unlike any other. It's been captivating players since 2013. It offers a unique and thrilling experience for fans of the original game who want to enjoy a fast paced multiplayer element. In this mode, players can choose to join one of two teams, the Fireflies or the Hunters, and engage in intense battles that test their skills and strategy. One of the standout features of the faction's mode is its weapon system. The game offers a wide range of weapons, including classics like shotguns and rifles, as well as more unique weapons like bows and Molotov cocktails. Players can upgrade their weapons as they progress, allowing them to gain an edge in battles. Additionally, players can choose from a variety of attachments that further customize their weapons and make them more effective in different situations. The perk system in The Last of Us Factions mode is another key aspect that sets it apart from other multiplayer games. Players can choose from a variety of perks that suit their playstyle, whether they prefer a more stealthy oriented approach or a more action packed experience. Some of the perks include increasing accuracy, faster reloading speeds, and improved survival skills like listening and hearing through walls. This allows players to create a customized experience that is tailored to their individual preferences. The stages in The Last of Us Factions are designed to provide players with a unique and challenging experience. Each stage is different from the last and tests player skills in different ways. Some stages are open and allow for fast paced action, while others are more cramped and confined and require a more stealthy approach. The stages also feature environmental hazards like debris and obstacles that players must navigate in order to succeed. Another exciting aspect of Factions is the variety of game modes it offers. From Supply Raid to Interrogation, there's a game mode for everybody. In Supply Raid, players must work together to gather supplies and deliver them to their base, all while avoiding enemy fire. That's the mode I play the most. In Interrogation mode, players must capture and hold enemy players in order to extract information from them. Each game mode provides players with a fresh and exciting experience every time they play. You'll never play the same game twice. One of the biggest criticisms of The Last of Us Factions mode is the lack of support from Naughty Dog, the developer of the game. Despite the game's popularity, Naughty Dog has not added any new content or made any significant updates to the mode in many, many years. This has left many longtime fans, including myself, feeling disappointed and frustrated as they feel that their favorite game mode has been neglected. Despite this, The Last of Us Factions mode remains one of the most popular multiplayer experiences in the gaming world. The game's intense and thrilling gameplay along with its variety of weapons, gear, perks, stages, and game modes make it a must play for anyone who loves post-apocalyptic stories and fast-paced multiplayer action. And with the recent release of the HBO show, The Last of Us, which has received rave reviews and has millions of viewers, it's clear the game's popularity shows no signs of slowing down. In conclusion, the Last of Us Factions mode is a must play for anyone who loves post-apocalyptic stories and thrilling multiplayer experiences. With its variety of weapons, gear, perks, stages, and game modes, players are sure to have an unforgettable time battling it out in this fast-paced game. So if you haven't played it, what are you waiting for? Be sure to like, comment below, let me know what you think about this game mode. Do you play it? Have you played it? Are you excited to try it? Let me know what you think below. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.